This is a turning point in the schedule of the presidency. It was always seen as being split in two parts. The first quarter would be dedicated to the completion of a huge legislative agenda. I mean, the leftover from the preceding legislature. Uh, the Spanish presidency had already done a lot, but there was, there was still a lot also remaining on the plate of Belgium. So I think that the presidency's team has been frantically complete in negotiating, negotiation, both within the Council and with the European Parliament in trilogues. From what I read, it has achieved a lot. Uh, Artificial Intelligence Act, uh, platform workers are two examples of legislation, draft legislation which were seen a little bit as mission impossible to be completed. Now, of course, there is a price to pay for that. That is to say that sometimes the agreement, the text which has been agreed upon, is seen as maybe lacking the ambition that it should have had when looking at the initial commission proposal. But yet, just to reach an agreement on these issues before the European election, and not knowing what the political landscape would be after the European election, is as such a success. Now we move to the second part of the presidency, which is the some, somewhat sometimes presented as the forward-looking part. That is to say that the next quarter will culminate in a European Council meeting at the very end of June, uh, which will adopt the new strategic agenda of the EU, which will designate the candidate or the person to be nominated as a future president of the Commission, so these two, three months should be put at use to indeed reach agreement on what the next five years priorities should be. But again, I think that much will depend of the outcome of the European election. And from that point of view, the last weeks in June before the European Council will be absolutely crucial.